Now we'll start with the derivation for principal stress. We already derived the four important equation. One is sigma x dash is uh, sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into cos 2 theta plus uh, tau x y sin 2 theta. And we want to find out the principal stress that is the maximum value of stress. So we have to do is that we'll differentiate this equation with respect to theta and we'll solve this. Derivative of sigma x plus sigma y by 2 is 0. Derivative of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into cos 2 theta is minus sin 2 theta multiplied by 2 that is derivative of 2 theta and derivative of tau psi x y sin 2 theta is sin 3 theta is cos 2 theta and derivative of 2 theta is 2. We equate it to 0 for maximum minimum value. So this 2 and this 2 will cancel and what is left is so this 2 and this 2 will be get cancelled and what we get is sigma x sig minus sigma y by 2 into sin 2 theta this term will be positive tau x y cos 2 theta so tan theta is tau x y upon sigma x minus sigma y by 2 this one is the x axis this one is y axis tan theta p is this one is 2 theta p And we have another angle here. This one is uh, total 2 theta plus uh, 90. That is 180. This is positive tau x y. This is positive sigma x minus sigma y by 2. We'll construct this. If both values are negative, then we have one more angle on this side. So we have two principal plane. One is inclined as 2 theta, and other is 2 theta plus this angle is total 180. That is 2 theta plus 180. So we have two principal plane, one is at theta, 2 theta and other is at 2 theta plus 180. So two principal plane angle angles are 2 theta and 2 theta plus 180 that is theta and theta plus 90 that is one is theta then other is must be perpendicular to the same. Same result we can obtain from the equation number 2 if we substitute tau x y dash is equals to 0. So if we put tau x dash y dash is equals to 0 then what we get is uh, this side is 0 is minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into sin 2 theta plus tau x y into cos 2 theta and if you notice this equation is same as this equation which you get after differentiating sigma x dash. So what we can say is that the principal plane or the maximum or minimum value of the stress is the same thing. Uh, is on the same plane on which the shear stress is 0. So that particular plane will be called as principal plane. Now let us develop the equation for principal stress. Uh, we will put here cos 2 theta and sin 2 theta from this triangle and we are going to solve this equation. Let us say this value is r value. So r is a hypotenuse or we can apply Pythagoras to this and we can solve for r. So we have r square equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square. So r is equal to under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 square plus tau x y cos 2 theta is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 and hypotenuse is r. Similarly, sin 2 theta will be equals to tau x y divided by r. In equation 1, so equation 1 will amplify as sigma x plus sigma y by 2, sigma x minus sigma y by 2, instead of cos theta put sigma x minus sigma y by 2 r and tau x y sin 2 theta is tau x y by r. So this sigma x minus sigma y will be whole square divided by 2 and this is tau x y square divided by r. We can take 1 by r common. So what we get is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square. From this we can know that sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square is r square. So we will put it as a 1 by r square and finally we will get sigma, uh, sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus r. So we get maximum value of stress is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus here one of the r is cancelled so r is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square if you want to find out minimum if you want to find out minimum value just put here minus sign 
so this is maximum and minimum value to uh, for maximum shear stress differentiate equation number 2 with respect to theta and equate to 0 what you get is minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into cos 2 theta into 2 and this one is minus tau x y into sin 2 theta so rearranging we will get tan 2 theta we write here s for shear is minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 upon tau x y if you observe the equation of tan 2 theta p that is this is p principal plane is tau x y minus sigma x minus sigma by 2 and this is exactly reciprocal so what we can write is tan 2 theta s is always equals to minus this is plus sign and this one is minus minus 1 upon tan theta p so 1 my 1 upon tan 2 theta p can be written as minus cot of 2 theta p and which can be written as tan of 90 plus 2 times theta p so if we equate the first term and the last term we get so what we get is 2 theta is equal to 90 plus 2 theta p or theta s is always equals to 45 plus theta p that is the shear stress the maximum shear stress will always exist at an angle or principal plane plus 45 degree so conclusion is that the planes of maximum or minimum shear stress form an angle of 45 degree with the principal planes and the planes of maximum shear stress are not free from normal stress whereas the principal plane is always that plane where the shear stress is equals to zero so on principal plane the shear stress is equals to zero but there is no guarantee but uh, on the maximum shear stress plane the normal stress may exist